Dear friends and colleagues, it is such a great pleasure to get the chance to speak to you on the occasion of the 2020 STS Forum. In a world that is dealing with the worst pandemic in 100 years and is confronted with the threats of climate change, loss of biodiversity and social inequality, there is really a critical demand for research and knowledge. The shape and effectiveness of this new research rely heavily on the current knowledge available. Even new measures of organizing research and administrating research funding depend on what we presently know. And what we know is the result of basic research within each respective field of science and the humanities. Therefore, I believe that promoting basic research is the best possibility we have in preparing our societies for unknown challenges and crises that have not yet arisen. In addition, in the current situation, we do not only have to support the emergence of new knowledge, but we have also to guarantee that relevant research results inform the public and do not lead to misinformation or confusion. What I'm describing is indeed a twofold task. A perfect case in point, the Corona crisis. The pandemic has demonstrated that new and rapidly available research is needed that will produce accurate results quickly. Results that will lead to reliable diagnostic procedures in the short term, but also to safe and effective vaccines in the medium term. And in the long term, to a better understanding of epidemic outbreaks and their consequences in their entirety. So to start with the long term, the DFG launched a strategic call for multidisciplinary research into epidemics and pandemics in response to the outbreak of SARS-CoV-2. In addition to investigating the current pandemic, our goal is to identify fundamental research questions that produce generalizable scientific findings. By contrast, medium-term research is already in full swing. The DFG has funded research on variants of the coronavirus, their transmission, pathogenicity and genetic variability for many years, long before the current outbreak. That and similar research generated from independent curiosity lays the ground for rapid yet reliable results in the field of vaccine development. That is why the current situation illuminates that the best way to prepare for new and unforeseeable societal challenges, be they biomedical or other, lies within generating a knowledge store that is not yet related to concrete problems, but rather to open questions of knowledge. You can only produce a vaccine if you know the virus, by heart, ideally. So, funding the intrinsic motivation, the curiosity of researchers, proves to be the earliest possible crisis prevention. However, successfully dealing with the coronavirus pandemic means to consider the role of research in the public as well. We all need new knowledge through research findings, but we also have to guarantee that academia has the power to inform politicians and the broader public. With the rise of social media, the conditions and realities of public communication have changed. They often promote heated controversy and disguise rather than a fact-oriented and open discourse. 
United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres even called the current state of global communication a dangerous epidemic of misinformation. Consequently, academia is in a demanding situation. It would be hard to imagine not using social media for public information and it is essential to provide the best and the latest scientific results to politicians and the public. So, I am convinced that we need to focus on basic research as the foundation of any application and we need to communicate thoroughly, openly, taking the arguments and demands of others into account and taking the time researchers need to explain what they mean. And in science, as well as in the public discussions, we need passionate controversies and debates, but overall less competition and more cooperation. Thank you very, very much. Stay healthy and stay curious.